Hello everybody and welcome to today's snapshot review which is 15W37A and today I want to take a look at the new features of this snapshot together with you. So to start with we need to go to the single player word generation because they added new customized uh, super flat things and I had a look into these um, presets and I'm quite sure that the overworld one here is new so let's take a look what the overworld gives us. It's just uh, a bunch of stone, dirt and then grass and um, on added to that I think is uh, a bunch of stuff, villages, uh, the biome, then decorations, whatever this is, uh, strongholds, uh, you will find mine shafts, lake, lava lakes and dungeons. So um, yeah, pretty much a word that is even playable and uh, then down here we've got a void word if we do, uh, we can see it already over here, we've got a bunch of air and then also this decoration, which I'm not too sure what it is. So I'd say uh, we load up this preset and then we take a look at the other features that are added in this snapshot. It looks like I have been tricked there a little because I haven't been playing in the super flat presets a lot. I haven't noticed that the overworld preset was there already. It just has a new symbol, but it seems like the symbol was already there as a grass in 1.8.8 and before it was a dead bush. So that's why I thought it's new. But anyways, this word is pr quite pretty and it shows you what I wanted to show you. Um, normally, a uh, single player wasn't really playable for me because my chunks just wouldn't load and I think that I wasn't the only person with that issue and I've got now a random distance of 32 chunks here and uh, it looks like that um, we are loading the chunks just perfectly fine because they have made changes to chunk generation. It's now much smoother in multiplayer and single player and uh, that's why uh, we can now have like the 32 render distance uh, chunk without any problems. Take a look at the frames per second. I'm recording and I'm still over 60 frames per second, which is quite good for my taste. I pretty much like this change and now single player even gets an option for me for recording. Also, they added a new game rule, which is the spectators generate chunks game rule. And if we just change it to false now and uh, do game mode 3, so we're in spectator mode, we shouldn't be able to generate new chunks. Uh, I guess these have been chunks that I generated before, but soon we'll fly to an edge over here. And here we can see it. These chunks haven't been generated and I think that this is also different. We can't see the edge of the chunk anymore. I think that was different before. So that is a pretty, pretty nice game rule. If we just change that back to true, we should these chunks pop up immediately. And there we go. So pretty cool game rule that was just doable with plugins before. As in each snapshot they rebalance weapons and tools again and also the shield and uh, we'll take a look at that real quick. The sword has now a fast attack speed with 1.6 compared to 1.45 in the last snapshot. The damage is the same. For the axe uh, we've got a fast attack speed but one point less attack damage. And you can see this item here, which is the new shield texture, which I think looks quite cool. And my concern about this was uh, that we maybe can't put uh, like our banners on it anymore. But if we just uh, go into here and, uh, whoops, I need to take it out of here first, uh, put it into our crafting grid, you can see that like this we get the white banner. For some reason it dropped a banner. I guess that's because I'm in creative mode. And like this you get the banner that you had before. Is it just me or do I hold it in a different way now? Or maybe it's because I'm blocking. And in the creative menu we don't have uh, the shields anymore uh, separately here. It's just the one shield over here now. And these ones um, now have like the, the data value of zero. So it's stored somewhere else I would say because it has an NBT tag. Uh, I don't know too much about that stuff, but we'll see. Also, the armor here is the same as before and the recipe for the shield changed. Um, I guess I saw a picture somewhere in a tweet. Um, if I can manage to do that, I will include it now in the video. If not, uh, just keep in mind that the recipe changed. 
But that's gonna do it from today's snapshot. I hope uh, that you enjoyed this review. If you did, then feel free to leave a like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and share this video with your friends. And I hope then to see you in next video. So until then, have a great day.